So we read this book called The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. Right. <laughs> this book was written by Sherman Alexi, and he actually based it off his own life, like his life experiences, like uh, being bullied in middle school and high school, violence, his race, where he's from, alcohol abuse and friendship those are all very those were all very important parts of his life the places he mentions is well pennant and reardon and he actually went to school in both places right, so for those of you who are wondering what the genre of this book is it's for young adults and it's also realistic fiction because wow. the author based it on his own life but there's some Fiction added to it. Yeah. And so the play, the book is set in the majority of two places. It's set in the Spokane Indian Reservation and Reardon, which is a town about 22 miles from Well Pennant. In the absolutely true diary of a part time Indian, the main character's name is Arnold Spirit Jr., but everyone just calls him Jr. He was born with brain damage, with a brain damage in the... Um, he has a lisp, and he stutters a lot, and he gets picked on, slash bullied, for being different than everyone else. He loves drawing, he often, he draws comics to deal with his world, and he loves to play basketball. So, his best friend is named Rowdy. Oh, he's described as this big and threatening kid, but and tries his best to protect him all the time. Arnold is a 14-year-old boy who lives on the in Spokane Indian Reservation in Washington. And one day he decides he can't take living or going to school at Will Pennant any longer and decides he's going to transfer to Reardon High School. And he, when he tells Rowdy he's moving, Rowdy gets really mad at him and starts kind of beating up Junior because he feels like he's being betrayed by Junior and Junior's leaving him alone. And Junior is not that not too happy about that, but he can't take it any longer. So he attends Reardon High School and he is picked on at first because he's the only person with color on his skin. And the kids think he's weird, so he kind of goes through a rough patch at first. But then he does earn a friend or two, and he is able to find his way eventually. 